A new book looks at the love affair between Joanne Woodward and Paul Newman, one of Hollywood's most iconic couples who were married for 50 years. Few knew them better than their daughter, Melissa. Her new book is called Head Over Heels, Joanne Woodward and Paul Newman, A Love Affair in Words and Pictures. It features never-before-seen snapshots, stories, handwritten notes from her legendary parents. And Melissa joins us this morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Good, good to have you with us. As you're going through all this material, did you learn something new about your parents? Um, well, I think I, I deepened my understanding of the passion that they had for each other and then the sort of the nuance of the passion. I think that's what we accomplished in the book was with the juxtaposition of photographs and, you know, we decided to make it loosely thematic. And I find that it sort of reads like an Instagram feed because you never know it's going to be on the next page. And it's sort of subliminal about how um the pictures and the text go together but i think what you come away with is a really really broad like a really broad understanding of you feel as though you've been immersed in their relationship i feel like we really that's my favorite picture that we really accomplished that um that you know you're showing all these pictures i'm getting distracted still every time i turn the page yeah. i i'm Still thrilled with the book. So I, you know what, the, your parents are, are their relationship is kind of having a moment right now, following that uh, documentary that was aired that Ethan Hawke did, the the last yeah. movie stars, and it was just beautifully done with old interviews that your father had had done with people that knew them. And um, what, that, talk about why you think them as a their, their their coupling is so iconic and and so uh, felt so much by people. Well, I, I, not only do I think it's felt by people, but I also feel as though their time, um, you know, they, they, they're ripe for the picking as hipster icons mm. because, because they had politics, they had art, they had, you know, they were engaged. They were amazing parents. You know, my, my dad said to me, he, he joked, he's like, you broke the cycle of bad parenting. I was like, dad, you guys were look look what they gave me. I got to be immersed in art and art making and um, and also when you look at the clothes that they're wearing, my mother was just stunning. Um, they unfortunately they they um, made cigarette smoking look a little too good. But I did <laughs> learn that one of, the reasons, one of the reasons they're handing people handing each other cigarettes frequently in the book, we found scribbled on the back of literally scribbled on the back of a document uh, that they were trying to quit. And the way that they decided to quit was that they could only smoke when they were together. And so there are all these pictures of them handing, ah. handing cigarettes. And I, I didn't, I literally didn't realize until we saw that wow. on the back of, a, of an envelope. It, you, know, you look at those photos we just saw, it looks like a, a lot of fun memories, but they did fight. What did they fight about? Oh, my goodness. Well, we'll just put it this way. So I heard this amazing quote, and I can't remember who it was from, that if you're uh, in Hollywood, if you survive the first year and the first infidelity, uh, you deserve an award. But I will say that my mother, you know, we we reached into I reached into a bag in the attic and I found the first 10 letters that my father ever wrote my mother. I mean, wow, saucy, saucy love letters so much so that I couldn't and they weren't they, they weren't smarmy in any way. They're just charmingly body. And uh, I, I couldn't put them entirely in, but I put big chunks of quotes in there because they are you could take, you know, any any man could take uh, take lessons anyone could take lessons on how to uh how to craft a love lighter they were so so sweet and they were uh, also trailblazers about you know giving back i mean the hole in the wall gang camp that your father yeah, started the yeah. newman's own uh dressing line that, that's 100 percent to charity isn't it melissa yeah we um we're not really involved in that anymore unfortunately okay. but but um, I am on the board of the original camp, and now it's the Serious Fun Children's Network, which is 30 camps all over the world that are for kids with life-threatening diseases. And I just have to say, if you want to have a, 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 a heartwarming moment uh, in your day, you can look that up. There are videos on online. There are the healing feeling videos for um, for the Hole in the Wall camps. Um, you've you know, it's a place where you can go and throw off your prosthetic leg and do a climbing wall. And nobody cares if you have, um, you know, if your hair has fallen out or whatever, everybody just sees you for what it's, it, it's the most, and it's so happy there. It's so, 
meaningful to so many children and families. So, and I'm on the board of the original camp, which is in Ashford, Connecticut, the hole in the wall camp. Yeah, that's a wonderful legacy. We have another yeah, photo here. Really Let's take a look at the next photo that we have. I believe it's of your mom. And I think she is, look at it together, please. Oh, do... oh no, this one's your dad. This is a film There's clip. There's my mom. I'm betting I know it. There's the photo together. of your mom do you, okay. watching the dog. Do you live in okay. your parents' house, uh, Melissa? Is um, I, they bought the, yeah, they bought the house in 1961. Um, and, uh, we bought it from them when my son was two, he's now 27. He just did a book talk with me yesterday. I'm doing a book talk today at the, at, uh, in, um, at the corner bookstore in, uh, in Manhattan. Um, just giving that pitch, but yeah, yeah that's my mom. That's our sink. Uh, that, uh, that spoon there is the dog food spoon, Caroline wow. Murphy, who her, is standing behind my mother. She was my heart and soul and my husband's oh, bowling partner. Wow. Um, so, you know, that's, we still live there. And oh. that was my mom. That was the mom that I knew. Yeah. Melissa, it's so great to talk to you. The book is called Head Over Heels. We have to uh, uh, tap out now because we have some breaking news, but thank you for joining us. Thank you. Here's